count it as a win for me once again. A one and only Clover Damon. And today, I'm going to be reviewing another Western film starring John Wayne. Oh, yeah. I know John Wayne is a teacher here, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. That has to be great. Oh, yeah. So, it's, you know, it's fairly low budget compared to the movie nowadays, I guess. Yes, it's pretty old. But I guess this is one of the more, more well known uh, Western films we're talking about, as it was often considered to be a lot of people's favorite Western films. Escape Code is the one we're doing, folks. So, as usual, I do have a topic of thought. So, let's just, you know, into it, shall we? So, here we go. So, we get to see that. And uh, it's taking place in the year 1880. Of course, since a lot of these films always take place in a certain time period, of course, in the wide, wide west, there are these group of strangers. They, they pretty much go on this uh, stagecoach from one place to the other, of course, in New Mexico and whatnot. Among them is this, you know, this people or not, one of whom is a prostitute. Yes, having a prostitute in a movie is usually a no-no. And if you ask me, it should be legalized if you ask me, but whatever. Moving on from that, yes, it should be legalized. It's a form of money and kind of work. But anyway, and they've been driven out of town by the law and order elite, I guess you can say. There's also this um, alcoholic individual, and uh, there's also this pregnant woman, Lassie, Lucy, um, excuse me if I mispronounce that name, of course, whom uh, is pretty much traveling to join this place when uh, the husband has been in, uh, joined in and whatnot, and let's just say things do become rather crazy, as we can say. You're gonna have some sort of conflict in the story, of course. But yeah, they're traveling from the, this town to so much like different places and whatnot. So you really do get the sense of traveling, I guess you say. Which I actually thought was pretty cool. There's a big sense of travel. So there's a lot of scenes where you can see that it's very well choreographed, and you're trying to give you the sense of what they're trying to go for, obviously, and how it's displayed and all the scenery and whatnot. It's really, really nice, of course. Of course, they are, they are doing this. Uh, this. These people are traveling at their own risk, I guess you can say. Uh, but they would be escorted by the soldiers, so to speak. But, uh, but anyway, among these pageants are these prostitutes, there's, uh, so on and so forth. Of course, they get thrown out or whatnot. And this, of course, this movie is based on a short story, which I have never read, by the way, so I can't really tell you if it's faithful or not. Uh, I just thought, let's just thought I'd say that real quick. I, I don't know how faithful it is to me at all when it comes to this movie, uh, material to the story or whatnot. Pretty much the structure of the plot is also familiar with this kind of uh, stories where they had to go on this grand adventure. Of course, the passengers are introduced. They, uh, they board this, this thing and they face a crazy danger, of course. And, of course, trying to make uh, the people who made this movie trying to make it seem exciting. Um, you know, the exciting bits, the exciting adventure of who lived. Who died? Which stage? Well, we will we be on this story and whatnot, and what would happen, of course. Uh, there's a lot more to this, of course, which I don't want to spoil, of course. But this really, this one really does attempt to, you know, have a story. I guess you can say, really does. Uh, kind of a social sort of story and whatnot. Plenty of. Uh, Stuff I can say about it, but I don't want to spoil 
I gotta say, honestly. I was boring in the list. But, yeah, I can see why a lot of people would like this, of course. The, the camel work in this is actually quite good. I guess the camel work is really, really nice, of course. The music isn't too bad. The music really does attempt to create, uh, create a fat feel for the movie. In other words, is what I'm saying. So the music does its work, of course. But yeah, so yeah, of course, uh, when it comes to these types of movies, these Western films, and a lot of these films get a lot of flack for the uh, for being a sort of way or whatever. I mean. Some people might take this movie as, you know, political incorrectness or whatever. But, I mean, that's not how I took it. I mean, the way I thought about it is just these characters are just trying to go from one place to the other and whatnot. But, I know some people nowadays would just take this movie as it as if it was talking down to some group of people. But again, it's not how I took it or whatever. But, doesn't people nowadays seem to take everything offensively, but whatever. But, um, man, don't get me wrong, there's been plenty of old movies that uh, made really crude jokes about some group of people and whatnot. But hey, that doesn't really, um, mean, uh, that doesn't mean it's gonna happen here, folks. But anyway, uh, for this film, uh, I didn't hate it, so I didn't hate the story, I mean, I didn't hate it. What they were trying to do, I guess you can say. So, I guess all I can really say is, I would say that I do recommend this one. It's not too bad. And, yeah, and whatnot. I know a lot of these old Western films, a lot of them are considered racist in a lot of ways, but like I said, that's not how I view it. That's just view that these characters are trying to go from one place to the other. Of course, they're going to be a strong struggle and whatnot. But, whatever. 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 Of course, we're going to have some drama. It's a story. You get all these people just, oh, going on this crazy adventure or whatever. But anyway, this is a Western film. I'll give it an overall rating. Oops. Yeah, an overall rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10. I mean, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See ya. Oh yeah. Later.